असलम एंड हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अस्मा के नाइम डोंट फो गेट टू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो लेट स्टार्ट सो फ्रेंड्स आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन ट्रेन योर पाइथन बेस्ड चैट बॉट विद कस्टमाइज चैट टेक्स एंड हाउ यू कैन स्टार्ट द कॉन्वर्सेशन विद योर चैट बॉट इन अ कमांड स्टाइल शेल एनवायरमेंट ऑन विंडोज मशीन सो कीप वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड यू कैन चेक आउट माई वीडियो ऑन इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ पाइथन बेस्ड चैट बॉट ट्रासा ऑन विंडोज मशीन इफ यू आर न्यू हियर यू कैन ऑल्सो चेक आउट माई वीडियो टू अंडरस्टैंड द जनरल आइडिया ऑफ अ चैट बॉट यूजिंग एनी अंडरलाइंग प्लेटफॉर्म लिंक्स आर अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो फर्स्ट लेट्स लुक इन टू द कोर डायरेक्टरी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ रासा प्लेटफॉर्म फर्स्ट देर इज एक्शन फोल्डर विच इज यूज टू डिफाइन योर कम्प्लेक्स रिस्पॉन्सिस सच एज रिस्पॉन्सिस फ्रॉम द डेटा बेस देन वी हैव डेटा फोल्डर दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फोल्डर बिकॉज हियर ऑल द ट्रेनिंग डेटा ऑफ द बॉट विल बी डिफाइन अलॉन्ग विद द चैट कंट्रोल फ्लो एंड जनरल कॉन्वर्सेशन रूल्स नाउ एन एल यू एंड स्टोरी फाइल्स आर मेनली इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज डेटा एंड चैट फ्लो आर डिफाइंड इन दीज फाइल्स नेक्स्ट वी हैव मॉडल्स फोल्डर वेर ऑल द ट्रेन models will be saved then there is test folder where you can define test stories to test your bot next these four files are also important for rasa bot configuration but for now i am only focusing on the domain file which is important in bot training Now go to the data folder and open NLU file in a Notepad. I am using Notepad++. In this particular file, the data that you want to train to the bot is defined. This data is mainly user intents or what you expect from the user to ask from the bot. So first, identify your target intent groups and then define them in this NLU file. For example, for this mood bot, there is greet group in which I have added additional last three lines. Similarly, there is goodbye intent group with additional last two lines. a firm group with additional last three lines deny group with additional last three lines mood greet intent group mood unhappy group and bot challenge group bot challenge group contains the question that user can randomly ask to your bot just to play around so save your changes and close this file Now go back to the source folder and open the domain file. Now in this file you need to register all your defined intent groups along with the responses which will later attach to the related intent groups for your chatbot control flow. Naming convention is important for example you need to use the utter underscore prefix before your response group names. You can add multiple responses but know that these responses can't be controlled and Rasa platform will randomly pick them. Here you can see I have added an additional complex response which will display a button instead of a text on a web chat widget you can also see different responses are defined here in this file so now save your changes and close this file to tie intents and responses together go to the data folder again and open the stories file here we shall define our chatbot conversation flow or in general your bot control flow these flows are known as stories and you can see in this file there are a happy path story and two sad path stories in happy path the steps are defined for the conversational flow between user and bot such as first two steps are greet intent and response then mood greet intent response is defined there are two sad story paths both sad story paths will try to cheer the user up if user responds positive then the first story path will reply a happy response and if user responds sad then second sad story path will reply in goodbye to the user i have not made any changes here so save your changes if any and close this file In the data folder open the rules file here general flow is defined which do not need to be a part of the control flow and user can ask them any time for example user can at any time says goodbye to the bot without being part of any story control flow and similarly user can play around with the chat bot with question which might not be a part of the control flow so save your changes if any and close this file I am not doing incremental training of the bot model so make sure that the models folder is empty before you start the bot training Now open command prompt as administrator and change into rasa source directory using this command Use this command to set your target python compiler version's necessary directory paths to windows environment path variable Next check if python version has been changed to your target python version with the help of this command Now enter this command to create python virtual environment if not already created then activate the python virtual environment with this command now use this command to train the python rasa chatbot
once your model is trained use this command to activate conversation with the bot using command style shell environment you can also see that your trained models are available in the models folder now have a conversation with your bot and observe the incorporation of the changes that you have added in your model notice since this is a shell command so you won't be able to see any buttons instead options to be selected as shown here also observe the happy and sad paths control flows that we have just defined in our model so what do you guys think about rasa chatbot platform do you find it simple are you excited for my upcoming videos about python rasa bot platform on windows machine let me know in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos thank you for watching take care and allah hafiz